Rocket Center Vitter, thank you for coming on. Thanks, you, Larry. Thanks for the invite. You, I take it, do not agree with this bill and do not want it to go through. Um, well, first of all, it's just a pretty vague outline. But secondly, yes, I have a lot of questions because I don't think it'll solve the problem. I'm for anything that solves the problem but doesn't perpetuate it or expand it. And to me, this sounds like the same old, same old, same pr uh, combination of promises of enforcement with an immediate amnesty. That has never worked before because the enforcement never quite materializes, but of course the amnesty kicks in immediately. Best case of that is 1986 under President Reagan. That was supposed to be the final amnesty. Never have to look back, never have to do it again. Solve the problem. But, but even but though, instead Senator, of solving e the problem, though, it quadrupled the problem. E even though, David Vitter, my friend, all right, I was around for that Reagan bill, and you're right, yeah. that Reagan bill did not solve a lot of issues. But right. you know, these people who are going to be given uh, this uh, period of probation, they, have, they might have to wait 15 years to become citizens, and even then they may not get it. I don't see how that's amnesty. Well, it's amnesty because they're legal immediately, and a lot of benefits and a lot of rights kick in. And the, <clears throat> their legal status can never be taken back, Larry. It's just a matter of time. <clears throat> when do they become citizens? Maybe it'll be a shorter period of time. Maybe it'll be a longer. But they'll, they're legal immediately, no matter what happens with enforcement or not. All right. Michelle Christopher Cabrera, what's your response?